Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another episode of Motor City Wrestling. Now we are live here in Kansas City, Missouri for episode 171 and correct me if I'm wrong, I believe last week we were in Kansas City, Kansas, weren't we? Well, either way, we got one hell of a show planned out for you guys here, so now we're going to go ahead and start things off. If my controller decides to work, which is, uh, it finally decides to. Going to start things off with Brian Brutus and Straight Edge going one-on-one -on -one with each other here in just a moment. After this, of course, uh, after this, of course, we have action in the women's division with Amanda Nightblade and Roxanne Graves go one-on-one. -on -one. Nightblade making her debut here tonight. And, uh, you know, actually, I may have fucked, fucked something up earlier. I guess we'll find out in a bit. Um, let's see, yeah, uh, Nightblade versus Graves coming up after Brutus vs. Strangers. We then got our mid-card match of the night, Deuce, taking on the Campbell Club in a handicap match, two-on-one. Oxley and Tyler Van Diver right after that, and of course, our main event of the night, Izzy Phelps, Jessica Taylor, teaming up against Emily Sharp and the United States Women's Champion, Selena Dominguez. But now, we're going to go ahead and get our first match of the night started. So, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get to it. He got the charger, got some honey barbecue Frito twists, and got some comfy to kick back and enjoy himself. You fuck yeah, brother. Is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Alexandria, Virginia, weighing in at 282 pounds. One half of the Pro Wrestling Alliance Tag Team Champions, Ryan. And yes, sir, Yanny, Missouri loves our company. Even two years later. Now, two weeks ago on MCW, in the very first match of MCW's mid-season premiere, Brian Brutus and Straight Edge faced off in a six-man tag team match. Brutus representing Blood Money, Straight Edge representing La Armada. But in that match, it would end up going to a double countout as Brian Brutus just brutalized Straight Edge on the outside. Before the match would end, Brutus would then be attacked by Aztexico. But he'd soon be flanked by Oxley and DGX. However, the damage was done. Brutus was unable to answer the referee's count of 10 to get back inside the ring. And therefore, Blood Money... Lost the match just as much as La Armada del Mexico did. But now two weeks later, Straight Edge has healed as much as he could. From what was essentially an assault two weeks ago. But he's ready to get it on here tonight. Brutus and Straight Edge one on one. Brutus is going to shove Straight Edge away, but Straight Edge comes, comes back with the open palms. Knife edge chop and now an uppercut right to the back of the head. And follows up with a springboard moonsault, keeping the big man down. Still not finished, though. Delivers a leg drop across the arm. And now a kick to the midsection. And a rolling leg drop across the face. Brood is not in a good way as this matchup starts off here. Now Straight Edge looking to employ the necky twisty. The most dangerous move in all of sports entertainment. But Brutus. Thank God for his health, was able to find a way to escape the maneuver. Now Brutus is just showing off his incredible power as he drops Straight Edge down into that gorilla press. And now stomps away at the hand, another stomp to the arm, looking for a fifth perhaps, but Straight Edge rolls out of the way looking for a flying forearm. Brutus gets the Dukes up to block it. Now a quick jab. Has Straight Edge up, looking for a power slam of some sort, but Straight Edge with a reversal into the inverted DDT instead. But Brutus, able to counter, takes him down to the uh, Dragon Screw. 
Now brings Straitage up and just tosses him into the corner with both hands. And now the big man has Straitage locked into a camel clutch trying to force a tap out here. But Straitage able to get out from underneath and trip Brutus up. Looked like he landed on that bottom rope as well for some extra damage. That's going to benefit Straitage if he can capitalize. Now starting to turn things back around off the ropes with a, uh, with a springboard splash. Quick jab and a couple of kicks and a kick right to the midsection. But now Brutus firing back with these right hands. And a headbutt just drops the luchador. And Brutus looking for the bear hug, but straight edge able to fight out with those right hands. And now continuing to light Brutus up with these quick strikes. And off the knee takes him down with an Inzagiri. Yeah, Yanni, I think that's uh I think that's honestly on my end. Not really sure what's going on, but there's not much I can do about it, unfortunately. Oh, Brutus just tosses straight edge from one end of the ring to the other on that one. Now gonna pick him back up. Lifts him up. No reversal from straight edge. Clubs the back and from behind takes him down to the sleeper slam. Now just gonna unload with these forearms raking across the face. Quick stomps the leg. Picks Brutus back up. Looking for a knife edge shot. Brutus with a reversal. Has him up. Looking perhaps for a power slam, but straight edge able to counter into the inverted DDT instead. Now going to pick him up. Looking here for the standing sheer. Knew he gets all of it. Center of the ring has him stacked up. But only a two count. Now straight edge looking to follow up with the springboard moonsault off that top rope. Still not finished. Goes to the top turnbuckle. And gets all of that diving elbow. Now unloading with these forearms across the face, just raking at the forehead of Brutus. Going to pick him right back up. Brutus with the counter, though. And now a couple of right hands. Pulls him in, looking for a gut wrench. Lifts him onto his shoulder into a gut buster. It's straight it's trying to get back up. Brutus just, at this point, insulting straight edge. Taunting him. No respect being shown by the Brutalizer here tonight, but Straight Edge raking the eyes. Brutus is going to shake it off, send Straight Edge over the top rope, onto the apron, and now just delivers a hard right hand. Straight Edge fires back with a forearm. Now off the top rope. Oh my god, what a knee strike. And that may be it. No, only a two count. Straight edge able to adapt there a moment ago. Nearly got her the win. But can this dude looking for the Shiranui again? Brutus able to counter. No, straight edge catches him. Into the Koji clutch. Is Brutus going to tap? And yes, he is forced to submit here tonight. Straight edge gets the win. Straight Edge picking up a massive victory here today over the massive Brian Brutus here in this one. What a contest we just witnessed. Brutus threw everything that he had at Straight Edge, but Straight Edge's experience, no doubt, allowed him to counter that body block attempt into a Koji clutch. Great match, nonetheless, between these two superstars. But now it is time for us to move on to our next match of the night as... Oh, that's the wrong screen. Our next match of the night as I go ahead and attempt to fix something that I think I may have fucked up a little bit, a little bit ago. Let me go ahead and uh, get our theme song going here. Yep, I knew I fucked it up. I fucking knew I messed it up. I knew it. But luckily, 2K22, something it did right actually, is it gives me the fucking ability to edit matches during the show now. So luckily I can fix this quick mistake. 
And just like that, match is ready. Let me go ahead and uh, get that started. There we go. Oh, that's... Give me one second here. All right, save. And now there we go. <laughs> hey, what's up, Brian? How you doing, bro? Strategy able to get the win there just a moment ago against Brian Brutus, but now it is time for our next match of the night. Let me see something actually. Match is still loading right now anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much. But let me just check something. Okay, that's what I thought. So basically, the fucking stream, unfortunately, is actually back by a bit. So, here's what I'm gonna do. So, uh, it looks like the stream is behind by like five minutes or so. So, the best thing that I can really do in this situation right now, I think, is just to not do bets so as to not spoil the matches for those of y'all watching live. So, uh, I think that's the best I'm gonna do. I doesn't. I think I'm not really gonna be able to talk to chat tonight, unfortunately, because of this bullshit. But it is what it is. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get our next match going, though. And just hopefully, I guess hopefully this shit just doesn't happen next week. That's all I can really say. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring. Accompanied by Sarah Baker. From Atlanta, Georgia. Amanda Knight. Well, there she is making her official UPWA debut here tonight. Last week, we saw this woman, Roxanne Graves, come to the aid of the rock star Donna Kay when Kay was being attacked by Sarah Baker and Amanda Nightblade following her victory over Sarah Baker. And now tonight, as a reward for her interference... Amanda Nightblade looks to shut Roxanne Graves down and play spoiler in her debut. Let's see, the default screen for your stream preview is gone from you still on the loading, uh, loading menu to actually action from Straight Edge versus Brian Brutus, and it doesn't seem to be pausing that much anymore now. What do you, oh, hang on. The default screen for my stream preview is gone from you still on the loading menu. I'm I'm confused here. I don't know what you mean by that first part. Commentator guy on his phone on <laughs> professional can't believe this. Now so I, what I was uh, checking there 
was just to see if the stre uh, stream was delayed. Which it unfortunately is. You know, here's what I might do, actually. Yeah, since it does, since it's not really pausing that much now, what I might do is once Nightblade versus Roxanne Graves is over, I think once it's once you guys have caught up, that is, once you guys catch up to the ending of this match, I'll go ahead and end it, end the stream, and then restart it. So that we can all sort of be like here at the same time. I want to say we're like three minutes behind right now. Except now on my end, it's starting to fucking slow down again. I don't know. We'll fucking we'll see if that helps it later on. If not, then it is what it is. But I'm gonna get, get back to commentating this match here. A man and I blade unloading with these right hands. The Luth has pressed, taking Graves down. And now just slamming Graves head first into the mat. Going for the cover now as the lateral press employed, but only gets her a one. Oh, stiff right hand there from Roxanne. But now Nightblade fighting back, right hand of her, of her own, has Graves up on her shoulder, looking for some uh, a stun gun, I was about to say Snake Eyes, but that's the wrong area of the ring though. And now has the, has the arm pin just stomping away at the hand. But Graves with a reversal, kick right across the temple, and now it's Graves returning the favor here. Gonna pick Nightblade back up, there's a right hand to the midsection. Brings her into the corner. Oh, and Graves with a stiff right hand. Still not finished, though. Looking for a full Nelson Bulldog. And follows up with a flapjack. Nightblade trying to get some offense there. Graves not going to allow it. Now setting her up for a Romero special. Just double stomps the knees. Now follows up. Unloading with these elbow drops to the knee. We're seeing a very aggressive competitor in the form of Roxanne Graves here tonight. And now has the legs tied up here, not finished yet. Curb stomp right to the back of the head. Into the cover now goes Graves. But still only a two count. And now Graves could be setting up here. No reversal from Nightblade into a very southern uppercut. Now going to go for the cover here. Le outside leg is hooked, but she only gets a two. Now it kicks to the gut. Setting up here, looking for a Baker driver as Amanda Nightblade, but Roxanne Graves with the counter. Takes her down to the clothesline. But now we see Sarah Baker trying to get into Graves' head. She is completely disregarding her, though. Backhand and follows up. With the Bronx Bomber. Or rather the Roxanne Rolling Lariat, I believe that was called. Now setting up for... Sort of a uh, Yurinagi there now. Not finished yet. Graves once again with that slap and follows up with the Roxanne Rolling Lariat into the cover. Has that leg hooked, and that's all she wrote. All right, now Yanni, correct me if I'm wrong if, if about whether or not that that move was called the fucking Roxanne Rolling Lariat. Whenever you get a chance. Roxanne Graves going to pick up the victory here in her debut match on Motor City Wrestling at the expense of Amanda Nightblade here tonight. But before we get on, on with our next match of the evening, 
Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take this moment now to just let the actual live stream catch up. And then... Once I see that it has, I'm gonna go ahead and just restart the, uh, restart the stream. And hopefully that fixes the fucking delay. Hopefully the delay doesn't come back afterwards.